uh, use the Northern Army and will drive uh, him into a land barren and desolated uh, with his face toward the East uh, Sea and his hinder part toward the utmost sea. And, and his uh, state shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he has done great things. Verse 21 says, Fear not, O Lord, uh, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord do great things, and, and be not afraid, uh, ye, uh, ye beasts and field, for the pasture of the wilderness do spring, and for the tree bearing her fruit, uh, the a fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Uh, be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord, your God, for he has given you the former rain. Moderately, uh, he will cause to come down for you the rain. The former rain and the latter rain uh, in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat. And the vats uh, shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore, oh Lord have mercy, to you uh, the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the pommel worm, my great army, which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in and ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord, God, yes. your God, and that has dealt wonderfully with you. Uh, you. My watch this, and my people shall never be ashamed. Yes. Twenty-seven says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Verse 28 says, and it shall come to pass. Yes. Afterwards, that I will pour out my spirit yes. upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men yes. shall dream dreams. Young men shall see, see visions. Yes. Uh, watch this. I'm going to give you 20, 29 and 30. It says, and uh, also upon the servant uh, and upon the handmaid in those days, I will pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heaven and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And uh, verse 31 says, the sun shall turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. Praise God. Father, we thank you uh, for your word. God, we thank you now, God, for your loving kindness. And God, we lift you up. God, we magnify you. God, we tell you, thank you, God, that you continue to be God. God, we thank you now for your power. Yes. God, that your word go forth. Bless the hearts of your people. Yes. And Father, we thank you, God, that you shall God, manifest in this place yes. today. Yes. Transform us, save yes. us, deliver us, and heal us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Come on, give God some real good praise. Bless him real good. Yes. Come on. That, that your praise is key yes, Lord. to the atmosphere Thank that you abide in. Yes, sir. Because you, you have responsibility to make sure that you're in the right atmosphere. Amen. It ain't on the preaching, it's not on the praise and worship team, it's not uh, on the, uh, the deacons, it ain't on the, the urchins, it ain't on the missionaries, it ain't on the prophets, it's on you. Right. If you set the right atmosphere, the devil will be uncomfortable. Amen, somebody. Amen. And because most of the time we allow him to be comfortable, and why he's comfortable, he's making us uncomfortable. Uh, the, the devil is very uncomfortable being in the direct presence of God. Amen. And, and so Amen. when you begin to magnify him, and the Bible says that God didn't have to with those that praise him. Amen. And hab habitation means to come and dwell in. Amen. So that means when you begin to praise God, God come and dwell in your praise. <laughs> Y'all come on talk to me. And, and, and so now, now what? Anything that didn't come from God is in there. It got to move. Amen. Amen. So what kind of atmosphere are you setting? Uh, come on, man. I'm gonna ask that question again. I, I know you had a hard day. That's all right. 
but, but shift your atmosphere and watch your day change. <laughs> Come on, talk to me. I know you got some bad news. That's all right. Don't deal with it for a minute. Then shift your atmosphere. And then watch your day change. Oh, not mercy. See, it's all about your atmosphere. You ain't got to, well, I got to wait all the way to Sunday. No, 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 no. You got to wait to Sunday. Shift your atmosphere. Come on, become a worshiper. Look at things that become a worshiper. We find ourselves criticizing all the time. Critical people are out of the will of God. Amen. 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 All critical people do is find fault. And, and see, if you in the will of God, watch this here. Uh, uh, you will find grace even if something is wrong or somebody is wrong. A person that's in the will of God knows I'm there because of His grace. And so I, it's, it's easy for me to give somebody else. Grace, because he gave me what? Grace. If somebody criticizes, find a fault in the problem, and everything. There's somebody somewhere you out of the world. Amen. Amen. Yeah, because all of us got enough wrong not to make it in. Amen. 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 Did y'all hear me? Amen. Amen. Somebody, but, but I got enough right in me to also get in. But uh, uh, well, what I got right, I made a decision by choosing Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. I made that right decision. Oh, praise God. And I pray that you did too. Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to old school today. I, 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 I want to talk about that he's ready to give you what you lost. He's ready to give back to you what you lost. Uh, we bless those that are online watching us. And we, we thank God for our assistant pastor. Come on, bless us. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. And we thank God for Ella Allen blessing. Thank God for the prophet. So great man. Thank God for the pulpit. We thank God for Lady William. Amen. I thank God for all of you that are here. Praise God. I want you to know God is good. And I'm telling you, we have a blessed conference. Amen. Thank Amen. you for those who made it out to support us. And uh, it meant the world to me. Amen. And uh, to uh, hosting and then yet have some kind of support uh, from a wish more would have been there. But, you know, we take what we get. Amen. That really blessed me. Right night when I seen uh, Sister Pastor come uh, come around that corner, coming down the aisle. That's all. Right. It, it blessed me. Oh, yes, it did. Praise the Lord. Because I, you know, I, I know a situation. I wasn't expecting to come, but it blessed me. Uh, praise the Lord. Yes, it did too. I'm telling you, it blessed me. And uh, I love that because uh, she's one to exemplify. Of faithfulness and commitment. Amen. She don't allow what she got going on her situation to hinder. And we have to learn from that. Okay, amen. Well, I can't just have my toes full. That's how you hopping in way else. How was the church to get here? Amen, <laughs> <laughs> somebody. Uh, uh, but she made it on the end of it. I'm telling you. Praise God. I'm, boy, I'm, I'm very proud uh, of. Um, my ministers, amen. 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 Um, uh, Prophet the Stokes, want to set the tone for the house. Amen. amen. Did an awesome job. Amen. Ed Allen uh, uh, came on in amen. behind in prayer. Amen. And, uh, amen. Praise God. And uh, I, I appreciate you all representing. Amen. And uh, I'm talking about all they, uh, they cut up. Uh, they cut up so they cut up so the presiding bishop came to them and talked about uh, give them high five. Talking about that's how y'all supposed to set the tone. <laughs> Uh, uh, look, when you get bishop jacked up like that, uh, when you get bishop jacked up like that, uh, that uh, you have a business. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes you just look at you. You know, you ain't did much. Uh, yeah, but uh, I would say, maybe probably, I just stand under my chest. Amen. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, but uh, that's what I want them to do. I want them to be made to experience the next level when, you, when you're in a room with people that are ready to hold them around. 
You can't, you just got to trust God. You can't, you can't be saying, oh, I don't know how to do it. Look at them. Don't worry about that. Just, just, just allow God to do. Uh, that's why I try to get y'all ready for it. Why I press you. Uh, let's go forward because you got to get exposed. And, um, and I was uh, hoping that Nancy was going to be able to, to make it, but she couldn't make it. I don't, we're going to put on out there too. Amen. <laughs> she back there praising God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> But I want y'all to be exposed to. See, the only way you're going to grow, you got to be around a greater anointing. Amen. Yeah, amen, somebody. Amen. Because, because once you hang around those at your level, you can't grow. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, don't have, you need somebody that can pull you on up because there's more in you. Yeah, amen. Sometimes you don't see it, but there's somebody that can pull it out of you. Amen. Uh, amen. We Amen. thank God, thank God, Mr. Main. Uh, right on with us. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. She hung on in there too. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, Mr. Main, trying, she's trying to be my road, road dog. I don't know. I think, I think she first lady the road dog. <laughs> uh, praise the Lord. Well, let's do this thing because I, I want to want you to thank God for. Um, the child's back with us. We've been Amen. praying for you. Amen. 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 It's out. It's honestly what I believe. Anyway, thank God for uh, Sister Allen. Amen. She had surgery and everything went way over there. Amen. 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 Uh, the stroke and um, so the sight had not came all the way back yet, uh, but we believe in God that He'll be able to see clearly. Amen. Somebody, God is a healer. Amen. I got the mic see when the mic's turned on. I'm not gonna just that over. I hear Sam. How many of you ready for God uh, to restore you? Amen. Amen. To uh, let the people know oh, God. that I had not forgotten them. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know it's serious. Right. God going about his daily business, and, and, and he done left us out. Some of you done called on him, you ain't got a response. Uh, You've been saying, I'm believing, I'm believing, I'm fasting, I, I, I'm praying. Uh, but there's no movement. And I want you to understand uh, 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 that, that God don't have to uh, have to move because he has already moved. That amen, that amen. I think I heard you probably say something similar to that. Uh, uh, and I understand this, uh, uh, that, that God uh, has done everything that's necessary. Are uh, y'all here? So it's already established. Somebody shout, it's already established. And I understand that, uh, that, that when, when, when God says uh, that he was resting, that means all his work is done. Come on now. Now, now uh, Jesus is resting because all his work is done. Let Lord help us. And now it's time for us to work out some things. Uh, Y'all read the word. Yeah. Uh, it's going to pay off well. Amen. You know, at the Bible says, a man that don't work, don't eat. Amen. And so if you don't want to work, then you, you don't want to receive. All right. uh, Lord, have mercy. You can't be sitting around waiting on a check every, every month. All right. uh, come on here. Because you need some stuff during the month. Amen. 
Uh, come on, talk to me. Right. And, and so that means I must do some things that will uh, uh, produce it in, 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 in the uh, uh, the corporate arena. We call this here. Uh, we ask the question uh, of what kind of, watch this, income producing activity are you doing? All right. And so if you, just because you're active don't mean nothing, but what kind of activity are you doing? Are you doing activity that's going to produce income? And if you're not doing activity that's going to produce income, then you have no income to come in. Come on up. Y'all need talking to me. Amen. 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 I ain't got no money, but what did you do to produce it? Amen. I prayed, but what did you do to produce it? Yes. Come on, I confess, but what did you do to produce it? Because, uh, watch, watch this, see, see uh, watch this, faith without works is dead. Even if you pray, God gonna give you instructions yeah. to do something at the prayer. Are uh, y'all here? Yes, and, and so understand, faith is not just saying I have faith. Faith is something that you must carry out. Amen. Amen. So that means it's always something for me to do. Amen. But what are you doing? Amen. That's gonna bring in what you want. Yes, oh. So, so watch this because I, I, I want to show you something. Uh, God says I'm getting ready to give back to you what you have lost. All right. Come on now. Come on now. And, and watch this. This ain't about the devil picking on you. This is about, uh, uh, watch this, the climate of the kingdom that has shifted All right. uh, because of sin. Yeah. Come on now. And we are coming out of the pandemic, and, and the truth of the matter is we have lost a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk to you. Yeah. And, and because of that, uh, God sitting there, because watch this, that his, his love for us won't allow him just to watch us. Struggle and go through it. God, and God says, now, I, I, I got to let them know that, watch this, what I have already done is still good. Yes. 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 But because of sin, and because of, uh, of choosing to, uh, to, to worship other gods, uh, 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 because of those who have walked away from me, watch this, judgment had to fall. Y'all go on talk to him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got to understand when we get out of the will of God, judgment is going to come not from God. Watch this here. Uh, it it comes because of validation of his word. Lord have mercy. See, it's not God that's doing it. His word is yeah, yeah. Uh, bringing consequences because we're no longer in obedience. Yeah. And the truth of the matter is, watch those that uh, that during the pandemic, all of us was in the same situation. Amen. Those that were rich, those that was uh, uh, living living well, those that were struggling. Uh, 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 no matter what status you was, all of us uh, at that moment during the pandemic, we was all at the same level. Amen. Okay, how much money you had when we went to the store? There was no tissue. Amen. 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 Somebody, Amen. there was no age. There was no miracle. No, 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 the pandemic put all of us at the same level. Uh, so, so watch this. There are times when you are wealthy. There are times when you have, have more money than others. They give you an advantage. But, 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 but watch this. But God allowed the pandemic to come to put everybody back on the same level. For us to recognize uh, that we still need him. Don't you dare uh, uh, put all your trust in your in your riches and, and in your talent and your ability at the end of the day. Okay, how talented you are, but uh, watch this here. Uh, where your talent lies, if the doors weren't open, you couldn't demonstrate the talent. You brag what kind of job you have, but doors were closed. Come on, come 
companies, major companies were shut down, going bankrupt. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And they, oh, watch this, and, and uh, uh, your bank accounts uh, quickly got, got real small. Then you were praying and hoping that the government going to cut another check. Amen, somebody. Uh, because before the pandemic, uh, you had your chest stuck out. You were, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that should be, that should be. And you thought you was good. Yeah, you was all right. Uh, but a little virus that came across the wall changed everybody's life at the same time. And, and, and watch this because uh, uh, here's the thing show you how hard headed we were yeah. and how weak our faith was. Yeah. Watch this because there were many uh, that, that wouldn't come to church anyway. Right. And soon they said that uh, 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 you got to shut the churches down. Oh. I'm trying to see why those that wouldn't come to church. Start complaining about I can't go to church. Come on now, come on now. Oh, come on, talk to me. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I want to go to church. Oh, now you want to go to church. Come on. You didn't want to go to church, but we still didn't see you online. I just want to be in the building. Well, when the building was available, you won a present. But if you really watch, watch this, because if your heart desire was uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to go to church and anybody go to church about being in the presence of God, then that means that we only can do it online. How come you won online? All right, hold on, hold on. All right, now. Amen. Then when things begin to shift a little bit, they uh, open the doors of the church back. You see they come. Come on now. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to church to catch nothing. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, at the Walmart standing outside, you know, waiting to get in. Line, I mean, it both is six feet, but you were six inches. Amen, somebody. And there's somebody trying to skip. Come on, talk to me. To get in there and find out 90% of the sales was empty. And you stood outside in the line for over 30 minutes. Come on, talk to me. Say it with And then after everybody started back coming to her, uh, you still ain't showed up. But you're on vacation. You're traveling. At the restaurants. <laughs> Didn't have no patience. Amen. Now because I'm sick of uh, 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 eating fast food at home, I'm going to the restaurant, I'm going to stay out there two hours just to, just to get in and sit down. <laughs> and, and, and come to church. Come on, come to church. If we pass an hour, you looking. Amen. <laughs> come on now, come on now. This is here too long. Y'all come on talk to me. It don't take all that. But watch it. I'm going to I'm setting up something. I'm setting up a sinful mentality. See, see, we will say that we're not in sin, but if you have a sinful mentality, it won't be long and you'll be committing sinful acts. Y'all come on talk to me. Yes, sir, we are. But because sin starts not with the uh, uh, not with behavior, it starts with thinking. Amen. Amen. And, and so all you can see is negative. It won't be long, you'll be experiencing negativity. So, so, so now this one play, watch this. It took 10 plagues. To get Pharaoh to let the people go. Uh -huh. It took one play for us to close the door. All right. We just, <laughs> and we get one play, we shut down. Oh. Come on, one play. Amen. 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 And we shut down. Life is over. 
So watch this. I want you to see that those that know God, oh God, help me. Anybody here know it? Those that know God, come on here, knows God. It don't matter what 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 what's the climate is. It doesn't matter what uh, what what's going on in the atmosphere. It doesn't matter what's going on in the environment. It doesn't matter what's going on in the city. It don't matter what's going on on your street. It don't matter what's going on in your country. Because those that know God know God always to make a way. Uh, we don't know how He's gonna do it, but we know He's gonna do it. I don't know when He's gonna do it, but I'm gonna get ready because He's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. 
And so they started choosing other gods during the pandemic. Amen. And guess what? Yes, they, did. they still was in the same position. Because yeah. yeah. the other guys, uh, come on now, I uh, start doing yoga and, and, and worshiping Buddha and all this other stuff and start calling on the other guy doing witchcraft and, and out there doing seances and, and, and uh, the mantra doing all this, doing all this stuff right here. And guess what? Uh, nothing changed. Amen. Instead of seeking God for the healing, they burn the seeds and get crystals. Trying to conjure up a healing and still was dying. Amen. Y'all come on, talk to me. Amen. The world said, What is this God? Those that knew God, knew God's hand was still on us. Hey, y'all come on, talk to me. Uh huh. Why other words? I don't know what we're going to eat. Come on here, we will gain your weight. <laughs> Y'all go and talk to me. We had so much food in, in our breed and stuff. I mean, why we had what we, we look, we had our own pantry. We had to pass out for we had to get pass food away. Give away. Come here. Y'all come on, come get some of this food. Because we ain't had nothing on all. Amen, somebody. Amen. See, see, those that knew God, my, my wife created her own ministry. Uh, uh, I get up every morning. She had her schedule. <laughs> yes, she did. I, I, she was going and getting in line for whoever was giving out food. Come on. But she wasn't getting it for us. She was in line for other folks. She was getting names of people who needed food. I, I had some help in here. She didn't have to do that. We went that good. She's going to stay in the house. But, but here she put her mask on and go out there, get up early in the morning, get in line, waiting to get some boxes so to come back to give it to other folks. Because those that know God, come on here, know God always makes a way. In spite of what is happening. I had some believers in here. Somebody shout, God always got me. But those that don't know him, they worry. I don't know what to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But watch this here. Thank you, Lord. And during the pandemic, some of you, watch this here, stop being picky eaters. I don't like that, but we realize there ain't nothing good in the store. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let me come, come on. You, you know, you put the hot sauce on and everything tastes like it. Look, I'll change the taste and put them sauce on. We you know you. Come on. You start trying stuff you normally wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all come on and talk to me. Well, you know it. You start open. You start getting canned goods. You wouldn't hit that can now. Shoot. Come on. Get that, put that can over there. Now, come on. <laughs> why, why? Because, watch this. Watch this. I'm going to say something. Those that were in the world that didn't know God was in survival mode. Watch this here. Those that knew God was blessed. Yeah. Oh, because God, God, every time he looks up, God, God showed up. And if y'all would be spiritually honest, uh, uh, you had more during the pandemic than you did before the pandemic. Come on, y'all really be honest. Amen. Amen. But watch this. But watch this. So, so the. The Lord says, now, I got to, I got to let my people know. I think they got a lesson now. Mm -hmm. I think they done learned this something that they need me. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Y'all come on talk to me. Yes. I don't know who was crazy enough to try to do it without God. You, you, you came on back. Come on. Yes. Come on back home. Amen. Amen. Come on back home. Amen. Come on back home. Amen. See, because, watch this. Because some has now, since things kind of calmed down a little bit, now, now the virus is still out there. The version that we have now is not potent enough to just send you to the hospital. Amen. 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 And it, you know, it's always something out there because now they got about four versions of, of the flu now. And it, we got a new age flu. Oh, yeah. It comes in four different versions. 
Then they got a shot for each version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they got four shots now for flu. They know what, what type of flu you got now. You got a shot for it already. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, so, so they tried to, watch this, trying to condition our mind to, watch this, to rely on a shot that could not bring healing. Come on now. Right. Right. Come on now. Help me. Come on with me. Yeah. Why take a shot that they can't help my health? All right, bye. I'm just saying. Yeah. Now, if, if that thing showed some evidence that it was going to heal me, yeah, yeah, yeah. then line up. Yeah. But if it ain't going to change my condition, uh -huh. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rely on the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because those that know God know that he is the only one that can heal. Watch this because even when the deaf angel uh, uh, was on assignment, God gave the children of Israel a remedy. Amen. How to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Well, how is that? Uh, put the blood on the doorpost. Amen. Amen. So we run around here and talk about we love Jesus, but we ain't under the blood. You gonna, God help me. You're going to have to get back up out of the blood of Jesus. The blood still has power. Oh, God, come on here. Matter of fact, can I help y'all? Come on now. I ain't going to help y'all. I'm just going to help those that, that make themselves available. The rest of you hear the testimony. That's all I can do. Uh, oh, I said that. Let me, let me help you. I learn how to cover you and everybody in your household and everything that you have under the blood of Jesus. Do it every day. Before you get in that car, cover your car with the blood of Jesus. And watch this here. Actually, it might be coming your way, but it can't hit you. Because of the blood. Come on here. I wish I had some help in here. You might have some kind of trouble, but it won't quit till you get to your destination. So, so I, I, I didn't get stranded, but it broke down where I, I got to where I was. But, but see, instead of be stranded on the highway or one of them back roads somewhere, I, I, I wish I had some help. Come to the road. A couple of weeks ago, the belt on uh, uh, my wife Mercedes broke. Uh, uh, watch this here. Uh, but, but guess when it broke? Bouncy she made it back home from school, pulled up in the driveway. And she said, they made a whole lot of noise. I went out there, looked under the, on the hood, and the belt was broken. Yeah. But it didn't break until she pulled up in the driveway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I had some help. Because that, that particular time, she, she was coming home on the expressway yeah. from school. So what if they had a broke wire and she was on the expressway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. Because we cover everybody, we uh, we pray every day. Yeah. If I'm out of town, she out of town. Uh, I, I don't care what. We gonna call, get on the phone, and we gonna have prayer together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I have yes, we do. Yeah. I don't care what time zone. If I'm in a different time zone, yeah. I'm giving them call it. Then we we gonna pray. Yeah. On the phone. If I don't call her, she be call me. You ready to pray? Yeah. Because we gotta stay covered. Yeah. Yeah. We can't get up, roll up, get on my mm -hmm. <laughs> Hoping everything gonna be all right. See, 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 watch this. When you stay in obedience to God, you don't have to hope no more. Yeah. I, I know that He shields and protect me. Yeah. But the Bible says, in a time of trouble, He shall hide me yeah. in the secret tabernacles of His provision. Yeah. When my enemies and my foe come up against me to eat up my flesh, they shovel the bell. They try to get me back to me. I wish I had some help in here. They went after me, but they couldn't get to me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. They gonna show up, but they ain't gonna make a do nothing. And so that way, you can be able to live in confidence and not in fear. Scared to look at your dog. They might be shooting out there. Huh? <laughs> well, a bullet can come through the wall. Amen. Amen. 
You mad and with it. Willie, go out into that mailbox. Check the mailbox. <laughs> you know, and if Willie get here, I ain't worried about it. I, 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 I'm mad in the middle. Yes. <laughs> Since he will watch this, that girl come. So, so God sees all of this. And he says, I got to remind you. Watch this here. He says, I'm ready to give back to you what you have lost. Yes. Yes. I'm hoping somebody's going to that. God said he was ready. Now, you saw it before. Now, he said he's ready. But the problem is, are we ready to get it back? Yes. 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 Let me help you. Uh, just because you said yes, I'm ready to get it back, I don't mean you're going to get it back because there are conditions on receiving it back. Uh, come on now. We got to make sure we are in alignment with God. Yeah. Oh, we got to make sure that we're, uh, oh, 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 we're doing this. Watch this. You know, we're doing, doing that on challenge, on sitting that challenge, on TikTok, getting on good knees, good knees. Uh, <laughs> Now, now they, they, they need to come down. No. Y'all older folks don't know what to do. Uh, you know, the good knees, good knees. And, you know, they going out here, get your hand up, get your hand up. Come on, good knees. One, two, the three. But you need to get on down on your knees and start praying. I can't tell you what, what they're doing, why they're trying to demonstrate they got good knees, y'all. Yeah. Y'all too young for that. Right. Uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> and, and need to go on on down there. So it shows that they can get down on their knees and that's need to start praying. All right. uh, oh, oh, watch this because it's, in, it's important uh, that, that we understand God has requirements. Watch this. So what God says what I'm going to do is since the land has been contaminated by sin and sin came in because of disobedience, he says what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a sign. Yeah. When you see, watch this here, when you start seeing the land coming out of it. All right, Bishop. Lord, have mercy. Come Fruit coming back on the trees. Yeah. Now they do of see. When you start seeing that grain coming, you, you start seeing now the cattle, everybody now out there grazing and things are going. So he, he says, now stop paying attention. Oh, watch this here. To the land. Because look at verse 25 uh, and, and, and Joel chapter 2 because I want you to see, uh, uh, watch this here because it, it's important that you begin to understand this here uh, it is that, uh, that, that he says he says, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm uh, 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 and the caterpillar and, and the pummel worm, my great army which I have sent among you. Yeah. Uh, do y'all see that? Right. And understand you know, how He's going to remove everything, everything that was sent to eat up what belonged to you. Yeah, Lord, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Because yeah. sin make us lose out. Yeah, yeah. Are y'all here? Yeah. He said, I'm going to restore. Yeah. I'm going I'm to restore. Yeah, he says, I'm going to restore. Yeah. He said, I'm going to restore. Yeah. Uh, he's been restored. So, 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 so watch this. So that means he's been to put back in place what was already established before sin showed up. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He sent the children of Israel to the land of milk and honey. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Amen. The land was already prosperous and fruitful before they got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so watch this. What we fail to realize is that God didn't bless you first. Yeah. He blessed where you was going first. Yes, he did. And when you got there, the blessing of the Lord was already there. Yeah. Yeah. All you were doing was being obedient. And when you got there, the blessing was waiting on you. I wish I had some help in here. He told Abraham, he said, Abraham, and he says, watch this here. He says, I, I'm going to, as far as you can, as, as far as you can see, as far as you can walk, I, I'm going to give this land to you. And, and watch this. And so wherever he traded his foot, uh, the, come on, the blessing was already there. How to know 
only of that, because longer he was associated with Lot, and Lot should not be, uh, uh, what was not should not be allowed to be on the journey, because he told him to leave his country and all his kindred. But he brought his nephew with him. And when they found it separated, God says, now Abraham, look up. He was already at the place of the blessing. But sometimes, where we at and who we connected with, what would distract us from what God has already done. And so God had to bring a separation. See, a lot of times, we try to bring people in our lives because we like them. We try to bring people on the journey because we don't want to go by ourselves. Uh, Y'all come on, talk to me here. Uh, yes, we do. We try to include everybody. But you got to understand, there are times when God didn't want you to bring a whole household. Amen. A lot of times we try to invite folks, watch this here, uh, on the assignment, come on here, that really not connected to God. Amen. Yeah, because they, they go to church. Amen. What go to church mean? <laughs> you got to get somebody that's in relationship with God. Amen. The same, watch this, the same God that you are in relationship with. Because they can say God, but they don't mean that's your God. Amen. Amen. Like our Jehovah is not the same Je uh, God that Jehovah Witness talking about. Amen. So you can hear a uh, name play. Because, see, it's not the same way they done it. When you hold with the same day, and, and, and we talk about Jehovah, but now they the same God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. See, you, you, that way, all you heard was the name Jehovah. Mm -hmm. Not the same God. See? Mm -hmm. And you got to understand, watch this here. Time will reveal to you relationship. Yeah. But we in a rush. We're trying to be in a huddle. Amen. Uh -uh. They can't fake too long. Amen. See, 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 you, you got to wait. Come on now. Amen. We don't wait. We see that's what I want. That's what I'm going to get. Come on in now. And you discover. Come on now. About five, six months later, that that wasn't what you really wanted. Come on here. Because, see, you told them how to get you anyway. Come on, come on, come on, let me see. Sis, come on now. Come on, come on, I'm going to try to hit you real quick. I'm going to stay, I'm gonna stay on this about two minutes, then I'm going to shift some of y'all need a two minute break for watch it here. Look up right here. You told them how to get you. Because they asked you that magic question. What's it? What do you want in a man? What do you want in a woman? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 come on, you just be, well, you know, I want. I, I, they got to be this, it got to be that, it got to be this, it. you know, how, how last, they, then you went into the last one you had. And say, see, all right, now, now they know what to do and what not to do. For at least six months. Amen. Now, come on now. Amen. See, because you don't realize that's what you're doing. You just had a conversation. Come on now. Amen. But you fail to realize the last time you did that, what you got? And the time before you did that, what you got? See, you repeated the same thing just with a different individual. And so you told them how. Watch this. How to disguise who they are. And watch this. Be what you want for at least six months. By six months, I'll have woo to you. Oh. Amen. Oh, you got to hear my God. I don't know. You sound like you like it rough. I don't know. You're doing it too much. Put it in the headlock. Oh, yeah. I pray for my earth. She got a ring on her. Uh, she got a pink on and went wild. Oh. <laughs> what? What's this? See, 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 and, and we don't realize that. Watch this here. But, but because, see, 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 you all got to, you got to know, watch this, you got to know the art of negotiation. Because people will sell you, uh, watch this here, they'll, watch this, they'll convince you to sell yourself. And they'll ask you stuff. Yes, they will. They do it all the time. I know about them training when I was a salesman. I, I asked 
you a certain question they call trigger word, and then now at your trigger, then you just pull out everything. Amen. I know everything about your child, your, <laughs> your brother and sister, and I ain't asked for all that. You just want out the can on now. And, and, and now I said, well, you know what? Put their name and number down here. Let me call them. They call, you don't told me they got better credit than you do. I ain't calling them to help you. I'm going to call them to try to get a sale because I already know I can't save you nothing. Because <laughs> you came in there and told me, well, I'm telling you now, I ain't got no money to my credit toe up. So what you call for? I'm trying to make some money. I can't make no money with you. You come in there and say, how you doing? Well, I'm going to tell you now. I'm just being honest. I, 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 I ain't got no money. And my credit toe up. See, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to.
God. Come on, talk to me here. Come on, come on. The, the restaurant ain't as open as often as it was. Now, come on now. All of a sudden, now they're busy. Okay. And soon they find out, look on the website, come on, do the inbox and see if you open. Here they come. Can I come back? Amen, Bishop. Amen. <laughs> and y'all don't like me. Amen, Bishop. Uh, but can I tell you the truth? And, and that, that's what happens. But, but see, we can't do God like that. Amen. I only call on God when I need a blessing. Hallelujah. But we can't do God like that. God, when I'm in trouble, that's when I'm going to pray. When things ain't like, but what was you when all other night? Come on now. What was God in your life then before some went back? Can, can I help somebody? Yeah. I, you, I understand this here because you showed that they turned on me and you with God. Because yeah. how are you acting when, the, when you're not in the church building? Shout yeah. yeah. your pussy. Yeah. Now, how are you acting when you ain't got trouble on every hand? Yeah. Come on, do you just get on God's nerve back? God, it's me again. I don't want that. I just want to talk to you. Like, and see, God lives for somebody that's in love with him, not with his hand. God says if you if you were smart enough and intelligent enough, uh, you, you realize that, uh, that that watch this here. I uh, don't just be in love with my hand. If you can get me, I give you my heart. And when you got my heart, you have everything that I have. Yeah. Yeah. But we've been trained. Come on, like the world. Get when you get while you can. And then can all you get. That's how we do it. Yeah. And if you don't watch yourself, uh, sit back and watch this generation. How the generation is. Yeah. They're trying to get, they hustling. They're getting everything they can get. Ain't thinking about God. Ain't thinking about you. They're trying to get you to buy everything. Come on. And then, then you got to go find the head that's getting taken out there. Come on, talk to them. But they want this, want that. And everything they want, uh, uh, it's going to be a hundred dollars. Yeah. And then they got that dirty to get an attitude with you and that that, 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 that you folks didn't have that kind of money just laying around and then what what they that no 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 they sitting up there just like, yeah they expect you to do it yeah. I'm trying to figure out uh, why I can't get that I'm trying to see uh, why why I got to tell you when you made I'm trying to see why I got to get you to watch this I got to make you come on I got to make you even uh, uh, do your homework I got to make you do good in school I got to make you why well, I got to make you do everything. But you just want to ask me, and I'm supposed to do everything you ask. Amen. Watch this here. The reason God says to us uh, uh, that, that, watch this, asking you shall receive is because he already done, because he know what you need of, have need of before you even ask. In other words, God got everything already established, but according to his will. But we try to get God to, watch this here, to ignore his will and join forces with our will. If Jesus couldn't do it, why you think that? But then we can do it. Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane. Come on here. And battle in that. He didn't want to come. God let this uh, father let this cup pass before me. I'm gonna have some death in here. And why? And he had good rights because it wasn't his sin in the cup. Uh, but he was saying, uh, let this cup pass before me. And then he finally submitted to the will of his father. But not my will, but let thy will be done. And so if Jesus couldn't do it, then why we think we're gonna get away with it? And here it is. He says, that's what's this. He says that I'm going. Watch this here. Verse 21 says, fear not, O man. He ain't talking to us. He's talking to the land. Because he says, first of all, I'm going to restore the land first. So the land can produce and reproduce whatever you need. Watch this, because watch this, if you are out of order, wherever you are, uh, watch this, become contaminated by you. Yeah. So they own the land, never the land, can't produce. Hmm. So God says, you're not a land. He said, be glad and rejoice. Oh, sure. Amen. <laughs> Boy, I, I, wait a minute, God. Why are you talking to the land? I don't need, no. See, watch this here. God talking to the to the source. Uh -huh. 
of your blessing. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, God has designated the land to provide for what we need. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody read that? Yeah. Did, did y'all hear that? Yeah. So he's talking to the source that he has given the assignment to. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> And the Holy Spirit is right there in the spirit. He said, he said, be careful how you handle those that you have assigned to bless you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we just handle those that's on assignment. Yeah. Lord, not mercy. See, but, but because he speaks to those he have gave assignment to. God has the key to release what you need. Yeah. You know, y'all get mad at us in a minute. You know, attitude works. Y'all come on, talk to me. Right. And don't realize, now, 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 you got an attitude with the one God has designated to open up things for you. Amen. Uh -oh. And you don't realize you just cut off your blessing. Right. Amen. And you be thinking, well, man, I, I know he's going to do that because he's mad. I ain't mad. We don't have time for that. Because we have others to serve. Amen. Y'all get quiet now. What y'all ain't all at all now? Amen. Come on. See, 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 you got watch this here. Oh, why are you cutting up? Why are you cutting up with uh uh uh, uh with the bankers? And they holding your mind. And you can call them 300 names. Come on, you can call them 300 names. Amen, somebody. Amen. And they ain't, and come on, they ain't got to, uh, they ain't got to release nothing. Lord. Come on, you wait out. That's my money. That's my money. Okay, but watch it here. You came in and violated. Oh. Come on, because there is a policy to even to receive what belongs to you. Oh, okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. Give me my money. You ain't feel like I don't, I don't withdraw slip. <laughs> Amen. You ain't show no ID. Come on, son. We don't know who you are. How you come in here? Y'all see me here all the time. We don't know. You can buy it to me. Ma'am, sir, we need to see your ID. Amen. Why well, live it in the house? Well, go back to the house and get it. <laughs> and by the time you come back, oh, we closed. The matter of fact, how they come up, we can be back over the money. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all come on, talk to me. Amen. Mm, now what you gonna do? Hallelujah. I'm gonna go to another bank while I look at Saint I always say that. Amen. Go to the teller. I don't know my pen number. You know what you do. <laughs> you gonna have to wait until we open up next week. Amen. Watch this here. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen over the weekend. Uh, you are gonna find some fun with this. Yeah. And when you come in that Monday, you ain't coming in that climb the cat now. You're gonna have your ID, everything that's required of you. You have ID cat on right here, you have the draw slip already filled out. You don't know what that's it. See, see, see how when you follow all the blessings come. Amen. Amen. Somebody. When you follow all the blessings come. When you didn't do what your mama told you, what happened? Okay. I ain't talking about nine day mothers, I'm talking about <laughs> yeah, they told you to clean up. You watch the clock, okay? About 30 minutes before she get here. But you trying to clean up the whole house. <laughs> oh, 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 you find some energy. <laughs> because you know what result is coming. See? And then it ain't that she don't know that you have did it because you swept up under the rug and throw stuff in the closet. Oh, come on, talk to me. They, they, you know, they, 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 they weren't born just yesterday. Yeah, Lord have mercy. Because eventually they're going to find they're going to open their closet. And then, and, and this crazy thing about it, uh, uh, they're going to go right to their closet where you throw everything in there. It's mm -hmm. You mean? Yeah. Oh, no, no, don't go out. Oh. Just out of, out, just all of a sudden they went to that closet where you know I had to say, come on, say wash the clothes, you can throw them up in there. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know you had to wash them all over, come in there and spit and put them back in there. Uh-uh. Ain't no one, you gotta wash all of them back over. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, young young people back there, they ain't saying nothing because they on your watch. <laughs> and down there, what? Why? This is what's that? We can pay no play. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
and you don't realize this thing is convenient, but what you're doing is you're crippling your children. It's convenient for you, but you're crippling them down on how to do nothing. Now, now they don't they don't respect. Come on now. The value of stuff. Because we do we use convenience. I tell people all the time, convenience always uh, always cripples you. Because you don't develop, you don't learn how to do nothing. Y'all come on. How many of y'all had this watch in the house? Mom still made you watch this. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Well, how come I can't use a watch in this watch? Uh -uh. You can watch this. Okay, Lord have mercy. Amen. And watch this here. I, I, and then, then the crazy thing here, uh, when they in there, they put it in this watch. Well, how do I can No, you're going to learn how to watch this. Amen. Watch this. Let me close. Oh, watch this. Yeah, yeah it really is because I want you to see this. Uh, 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 watch this because I want you to see. Watch this here. And he says now, Verse 22, be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastors of the wilderness do spring. So, so now, watch this. He said, because see, God said what I got to do is, I got to feed, I got to feed the land in order for the land to feed you. Come on now, come on yeah. now. Come on now. He's been opening up doors for, for better jobs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I think my mic went out. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yeah, you missed it. So, uh, uh, watch this. He's going to open up doors for better jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Here they come. Now, he's going to give you an opportunity now to start your own business. Yeah. I, I got to feed the land before I can feed you. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, he says, I'm going to uh, awaken everything I had already established so you can now have access if you only repent. Yeah. If you come back to me. Healing gonna come. Yeah. See, he says, "I'm gonna restore your body." Yeah. Yeah. See, he got, he got. Watch this. He got to reestablish what already been established. And oh, what? Watch what happens. And now he's gonna get rid of the devourer. So, see, watch this. And I will restore. To you, the years that the locusts have eaten, yeah. the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm. Watch this, my great army, which I sent among you. Mm -hmm. I, I watch this here. See, Holy Spirit showed me something. Number, watch this. He wasn't talking to us as a people. He was talking to the land. Mm -hmm. mm. The palmer worm, the canker worm, the caterpillar. Come on now. Amen. Was not eating us. It was eating the. Amen. Come on now, eating yeah. the land up. Amen. He's talking to the land. Amen. Watch this here. God told me to tell you I'm going to remove the curse. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I'm getting ready to remove the curse. The curse of disobedience. The curse of worshiping other God. The curse of helping him. I see the curse of stubbornness. And he says, I'm going to remove the curse. If it removed the grass heaven from above us, now there's a clear access to the God in us. Yeah, yeah. But you got to get in line with it. Oh, God. I wish I had some help in here. Hey. Uh, I said, we got to get in line with it. And, and watch what it says. See, <laughs> I, I, watch this here. And so, in other words, he's going to restore the years. So, that means now, he, and now, uh, where you used to get blessings, he said, it's going to be so abundantly uh, 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 overflowing. Uh, now, you're going to have to come make two or three trips. There's a guy to what you need. It's not going to run out. In other words, God said, I'm going to bless you so there'll be no more shortage. There'll be no more drops. Boy, y'all ain't grabbing this thing. He says no more drops, no more joy. How many of y'all are hanging up? Here he is. And he said, and ye shall watch. Now he's talking to us. Verse 26. And ye shall eat in print. Oh, okay. We can't eat in print if the land ain't producing. He said, we're going to eat 
in the play. <laughs> and be satisfied. It's right here in the text. He said, eat it, pray, and be satisfied. And watch this here. And then praise the name of the Lord of your God. Right here talking about it. it don't take all that. Yes, it does. Every time God bless you, you all be in praise for Every time you think about it, bless you, be in praise for Every time God cool your behalf, be in praise for You got to let everybody know it wasn't nobody but the Lord. Worse. I said it could have been worse. But you got to be in praise mode. God said, I'm going to bring you out of the depths of this world. Because this world, I said, you can choose whatever God you want to choose. And you can. He said, but remember, I am a jealous God. If you just praise me, if you honor me, I bless you the rest of your name. God said, I got this thing set up. Everywhere you go, gonna be your blessings gonna be waiting on you. Somebody shout favor, favor. Favor's all over it. Favor's in my home. Favor's on my spirit. Favor, 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 favor. Every time they turn around, shout that in their course. And then he says, he says, uh-uh. He says, that has dealt wonderfully with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. You ain't gonna never have to be ashamed. Oh, that's good. Oh, watch this here. I gotta close. Watch this. Verse 28. I jump down here. It says, and it shall come to pass afterwards. Yes. See, he tell me everything that he's gonna do. But that means now it ain't gonna happen until something else happens. Afterwards, watch this, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, the sons and daughters. Don't worry, your children coming in. <laughs> but, but, but we got to do our part. Come on. And what we got to do, we got to now come back to God. We got to repent. Watch this, bring God back in your home. Okay, who get mad? Now y'all didn't y'all did ran all the crazy music up in the town. Oh, okay. Come on now. Take your authority back of your home. Yeah. Now we ain't doing all this, all this fussing and fighting up again. Mm -mm. Come on, come on. See, 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 see. Until your home become God again, nothing that's wrong gonna become God. Because we will move God out of home. Come on now. Yeah. See, I plan on doing this stuff, but there's certain things you want to do at God. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all know uh, 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 you couldn't even drink none of that. Back then, you know, y'all smoking out. Y'all just looking at me, can't know. But I, I don't want no confusion to happen. You, you don't want a confusion and complaints from your children, or you want you want God to leave. Which one you want? Come on. If them children feel they grown, do their own thing, they don't get their own place. Yeah, yeah. But but you better make sure God is in there. Y'all come on talk to me. You better make sure that God is in your house. I was there. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. These children use witchcraft on y'all all the time. They play with your emotions. Manipulation. Come on. They, and you know they they, they have their attitude. They talking to you. That's all. But but uh, you guys said nothing to me. Good. Now you don't. Don't get down. Don't say nothing to me. You guys said nothing to me. So you want to go somewhere and they want something to eat. That, that, that don't talk to me. Remember, you didn't want to talk to me while I'm talking to you? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, they're going to tell you where, where, where at this moment we wasn't vibing right now. I ain't trying to vibe with you. Come on. Talking about some vibing. Talking about that new age witchcraft. Amen. We're about some energy. Mm -hmm. no, you better get in the right spirit. <laughs> Come on. Amen. See, and, and they do it all the time. And then have you feeling bad, make you feel like that you're not a good parent. And you get that they don't realize all the stuff you don't sacrifice. All the stuff you don't went through, stuff you don't went without, just trying to make them uh, uh come on now. They don't realize that they think us you supposed to be doing. Yeah. 
How? Supposed to. I did what I was supposed to do. Uh, you ain't sleeping outside on the on the on the bridge. Uh, uh, you got a nice bed. You got a nice half when uh, when it's hot. You got heat when it's uh, cold. Come on, you got food. Come on, you, you got cable. You, uh, you got video game. I mean, I, I mean you, you, you just I mean, you got nice clothes. I wish I had some help in there. You ain't walking nowhere. I'm driving. I'm changing my skin. to go get you, get you up. Head on. I guess. Do you around here still complain? Like I'm supposed to be doing this and doing that. No, 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 no. I know y'all might think I'm, I'm hard, but I tell you, see, sometimes you got to get them experience something here now and then to humble them down to make them appreciate what you're doing. Uh huh. Yeah, child, come on. Uh, I'm going to drop you off right here. Yeah. What do you get? What's that? You see that green sign that's a bus stop? Uh -huh. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you a bus fan. You hear that deal right here? I'm going to just catch the bus. I'm going to now, now, a uh, 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 suggested bus driver, you need to get off of this street right here. Uh, and just tell them that they'll, they'll let you know because it's your first time riding the bus. And then, now, now seriously, see, 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 I'm telling y'all. See, 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 sometimes you got to let them experience it just for them to realize that I got a blessing. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to kill them. Amen. Just for them to get a just for them, you down at the end where they both get off but down there waiting on them. Just one day, let them experience it. Hallelujah. What it is to ride the bus. Yeah. And all them crazy folks getting on that can on, just sitting up there. Ooh, and you know what? I, I promise you, uh, you don't have too many problems about never complaining no more. Now, now I tell you what, uh, now, now, now you got some old am ammo. Okay, now, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, so you're gonna be like that. Tell you what in the morning, make sure you get up in time. I'm gonna tell you what time the bus will come. So I'm gonna take you to the bus stop so you can go on. Amen. And catch the bus, get where you're going. Amen. Hallelujah. See, hmm. because, see, we shield them from so much development. Yeah. We're hurting them because they think everything in life is just gonna fall at their feet. Because we are spoiling them, we don't let them experience that. We try to protect them from everything and we are hurting them. Amen. It ain't gonna kill them. All they got, let them experience it. Amen. <laughs> I'm serious. Let them experience it. And then I, I promise you, attitudes will change. Okay. Ain't about all this smile now, paying on stuff. Uh -huh. see, 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 because we are, why do you think, why do you think God let us experience stuff? God don't shield us from everything. You know what to do? He humbles us down, and guess what? We come right back, right? Amen. 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 So why we can't do our children that way? It ain't gonna hurt them because they need to know. Because they think it that everybody in the world gonna treat them the way you do. And they in the room are a rude away. Thank you, Lord. Tell you what, tell them. Uh where the shoes you got, because we ain't buying no more shoes in this year. What? I see no set. No, no, no. Uh, and another pair coming in. You got you got 20 pairs again. You ain't woke yet. Now, wear them down. See? Yeah, now, come on now. Some of y'all can sell those shoes that now and pay your house note. What you say in my house? I'm just saying. Let them know. No, we, we ain't buying all this. Not, uh, not this year. This year, I'm going to show y'all how to save money and put it up. We only going to get what we need. Because if you don't teach them that, they always, they always going to be struggling because if they don't get out there and, and equip themselves enough, watch this, they ain't going to know how to do it. They're going to be looking for you to still do it. Or he's going to try to live on some girl for her to take him. Or, or she's going to be chasing me and just get him, get them to take care of and of teaching them how to take care of themselves. Amen. I'm telling y'all now, Amen. if you don't, Amen. I'm, it's, it's going to be hot. Yeah. They ain't going to be making on fast food. Working for fast flipping burgers. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Burn and fry. <laughs> Filling up drinks. I'm, I'm tired. What you do today? <laughs> they had me on the drink machine. I don't that. <laughs> uh, what I'm saying to you is if you don't, if you don't uh, help them get developed, what they going to become later when you're nowhere around? They ain't gonna know how to do that when you ain't around. Amen. And who bought this? They're gonna be our fault, right? Amen. And so that does not mean that you're a bad parent. You're training them. It says train up a child. Not baby found. Train them up. 
Come on. Until they learn how to wash the clothes, you wash them. Now y'all fold them up. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. sit down. Y'all ain't going nowhere right now. Come on, we're going to have ironing classes. Yes. Don't buy the ironing clothes. Hello? Amen. I'm trying to help y'all. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Come on. <laughs> see, see if, 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 when are they going to learn it? Don't know how to do that. Get out there. You need to change the flat. Come on out here, son. Get that jack. I was in the middle of the game. Look, cut the game off. Amen. <laughs> Come on here. Amen. Amen. That's it, bitch. That's it. I'm telling y'all. See, I know, I know. Well, you know, me and different. Uh, real me and different. We, we don't see stuff like, see, y'all be nervous. Yes, real me and different. We look now and now and say, this is what you need to do. Yeah, nah, nah. Now, nah, look, you get over there in the corner, let me hound this in. <laughs> and watch all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. You be trying to, well, see, because you were nourishing. Mm -hmm. And you be surprised, these children really want instructions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if they can get away with not doing it, and you do it, they sure ain't going to turn you down. Amen. Amen. So you got to teach them. Y'all said you be. You, you got to teach them. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Learn. Learn. I learned how to cut grass with a push mold with the blades. It ain't no gas. I'm not there. <laughs> oh, come on, talk to me. Y'all laughing, but, but 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 watch this here. Uh, 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 then the next old neighbor see me out there doing it. Guess what? He started paying me to cut that grass. I ain't done. I was, I was a young boy, first grade, making money. Push it. <laughs> Joe was. See, wait till the entrepreneur. In. Hello, why y'all some just ah, ah, that's too tired out there. I'm out there. I'm out there learning. I'm trying. Come on now, learn. I'm see. I'm being taught how to make a way. Hello. Yeah. Then now I got the three four y'all. Other neighbors, come on now. Come down, come down, come down. I got. I got. You know, you just y'all know about that more. Come on, one with the blade. Y'all better push them with the blade. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. But I was getting paid. And I was getting paid because of my dad. That was $25. See? And mama didn't take my money. That, that was money I earned. Hello? See? Learning how to make a way. If you don't let your son get out there, okay. I'm leave y'all alone. He should think he could be laying up, laying up, and don't and don't do nothing. See, he gonna uh, he always gonna try to get somebody on welfare, mm -hmm. so he can lay up, and she gonna say to me, and no, 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 no. See, uh, you prepare him to become a uh, a great husband, yeah. a provider. Yeah. Don't let him go out and spend your dime they have. Yeah. Show him how to put up some money, take care of this. Here. If you want something now. Yeah. Get their allowance and, and save up. Yeah. And then you're going to have some change up. You ain't been spending all. See, if you don't, I'm telling y'all now, because everything, everything now is to do this, do this, is it, because we didn't have no cushion. Y'all stop being the cushion. The mother eagle, watch this, get the eagle legs out the nest and watch what happens. And let them go forth, and then uh, on the wings, it's you. And the eagle legs, now they got to start flopping them wings. Got to start flying. When she see one of them about to fall, she comes scoop and get it. She don't take it back to the nest. Take it back up. Develop his wings. I see. Now they're flying on their own. Now watch this here. Because she would have made the point here, they can't come back to the nest. Yeah. Hello? Hallelujah. Yeah. So, when are you going to make a way to start uh, developing them? Hallelujah. See, God ain't going to spoil us. That's why sometimes He'll have you waiting. But know that He's going to do it. Yeah. Know that He's going to do it. He's going to work it out. Yeah. So, I want you to get excited because God is getting ready to replenish the light. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are y'all here? Yeah. He's been a replenished land. Mm -hmm. 
Opportunities gonna be available, but it ain't gonna fall your way unless you're in, in His will. Get in line with God. I want to give you opportunity to get in line with him. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now, just in case you don't went the wrong direction, come on. We want to give you an opportunity to, to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Because it's about your soul being saved. Amen. It's about you being right. Stop thinking just because I came to church, I'm going to get blessed. It don't work like that. It's about relationship. Amen. Amen. This thing is about relationship. Amen. Being in a right relationship. God wants to be in a relationship with us. And you got to desire that. And God going to take care of you. He's going to make sure everything you need is provided. Amen. But he got to have you. Amen. Amen. Those of all the houses open will give you opportunity to receive them. That's because God love. If y'all already knew what God wants for you. In your life, we playing around, yeah. And watch this here. Ain't gotta tell you nothing because you know, every time you get out of the will of God, trouble just come about. Mm -hmm. Just stop. See, I'm gonna tell you uh, how you can uh, determine the difference. Trouble comes when you're with God, but you'll be at peace. But when when trouble comes and you ain't with God, man, it's from one thing to the next. It's just every time holding on. I mean, it's about you. You just ready, Lord. Just come on, get me. <laughs> Now, what you need to do now, God, I need to get you. Get back in his will. Amen. Because we can't afford trouble, but that's the difference. When you're with God and then when you're not God, I ain't talking about that. I'm, I'm, watch this here. See, we can be with God and still be out of his will. And we do things out of his will, then the blessing can't come. So I want to give you the opportunity to line up. Because I want all of you blessed. I want you so blessed that you don't have no choice but to bless somebody else. Because that's all you know to be a blessing. But it starts with relationship. He hung, bled, and died for us out of God. Yes, it is. Come on now. Don't ever forget that. Jesus took your sin, took my sin. Gave us his life. And he took on ours. Went to a grave that we should have went to. Went to hell that we should have went to. God raised him up. Don't help me get that. I'm telling you, I don't care how far you fall, you think about that cross, get up. And come on back to Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on, give him some praise. Bless him. Real good. being saved. Amen. I'm going to take a seat. I know we're over this thing. I want y'all to get ready. Look at me and say, get ready. Get ready. Mm -hmm. I don't like the tone y'all said it. Come on, get ready. I want y'all to get ready. Come on, tell them, get ready. And, and watch this. This is how you know God is getting ready to move on your life. Start noticing the things that's around you. Start getting better. Amen. See, when you start noticing where there was a struggle, where there was a problem, now all of a sudden, oh, God can do something. Because He wants to establish you in a continuous blessing. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Money start coming. Don't just be a run and shout uh, 30, 30 months on that one check. You better start looking for another one. Amen. 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 Start looking for another one. Amen. Start looking for another one. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to drive by my lunch break to the mailbox. <laughs> I'm going to the mailman around here. Yeah. You called to the house. Go check the mail. I'm looking for another check. I'm expecting Amen. for God to, to bless me abundantly. Yeah. Uh, praise the Lord. And, and some of y'all only I only do that when you uh, uh thinking you so you got some money coming. No, I, I look all the time. I'm trying to look. I pay some bills. Let me see if a check in. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. And one will show up. God will release what you need. Yeah. Now come on, we're going to get ready to give. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Come on in. Let's get ready to bring our tithes and offerings to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh -uh. Giving is worship. Yeah. Amen. I say giving is worship. Amen. And, and we don't lose, lose our flow and our power when it's about giving. Amen. Now, uh, how many of you all was on Bible study? Uh, this past Wednesday. Amen. Mm. Amen. Interesting, man. Amen. I know we had a little warfare going on, but it was interesting. Amen. Amen. And so, uh, did you hear the part to where he says uh, in, in, in Satan's church, they, if they didn't tie, Satan, Amen. Uh, did y'all hear that? Amen. That Satan now, he did, he just threw them, he punishes them. Amen. What? Mm -hmm. I, I told y'all, everything we do in our church, Satan does it now, and he is. Yeah. So, y'all heard that, right? Amen. And so, what if God punish you like Satan does? Oh, y'all didn't even know they even tied you. <laughs> yeah, they do everything that we do. See? And we, we just don't tithe and don't give. We just think, because it's my money. Ain't that something? Yeah. I ain't studying it. God's going to bless me in a way. Not. See? So, is the devil ain't playing with his folks. Come on. And then they don't be late to church. I don't know if y'all heard that part now. Yeah, they, they could be late. They got punished. It'd be on time. It'd be what they're supposed to be doing, what they're supposed to be doing. See, and then if we if we correct somebody in, in, in God's church, uh uh we y'all get offended and go somewhere else. Go on over to the devil church and see what you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, man, I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, I got because, and, and the devil uh, uh, shut his folk down. You too. Hello? All right. Lord, have mercy. Y'all be thinking we we hard. We just trying to keep you blessed. Amen. By obeying God. Amen. And so so we got to be. Now I can't make you give anything. Amen. Because you ain't giving to me. But you're giving unto the Lord uh, and showing in good faith that you want God now to give what he has established for you. And don't 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 devalue it. Amen. Amen. Do what you're supposed to do. Because the church needs it in order to go forward. But I want you to grab this. Is that the church ain't gonna keep on functioning too long. Because God always gonna provide. But your household will struggle. Amen. 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 Y'all get real low. Amen. 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 You ain't got work as long as I got breath, I ain't real. I'm never not talking about giving. Oh, I ain't scared either. Amen. Amen. All they want is the money. Really. When you act, you act like you don't have money. So what I'm going to do? I want you blessed. Amen. 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 And I'm serious about that. I want you blessed. And then we want to have a good church. Then we got to make sure we're doing our part. Amen. Now, the last three weeks, we had been doing our part. Amen. Amen. And so we, we got we got to come on back. I know we have our moments, but but we got to do what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. You know, because of I have to deal with collectors and everybody else um, that want their hand on whatever we got. Yeah. And then I have to tell them, you know, we we can't do it. And then they, they ain't liking that. Mm -hmm. And so so it may not be for that. I don't want to, you know. Uh, so y'all come on, do right, amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Come on. Thank you. And this is a reason. Amen. 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 Amen.